Hey, how's it going everybody? Brad the Guitologist here. In this video, we're going to look at something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to look at this unusual writing implement. Uh, this is a mechanical pencil from probably about the 1940s or so. It was originally invented in 1929 by an Arthur G. Stevenson. It's interesting because it hides a little bit of a secret that we're going to take a look at uh, here a bit later. It's made of Bakelite. It comes apart in sections. You can see this bottom section comes off and we have an eraser here which is old and very hard. I banged this on the desk and it was just hard as a rock. So we're going to remove that eraser. We will probably... Uh, do that first of all and replace it uh, but we'll also uh, put some pencil lead in this at least that was the idea to put some pen new pencil lead in this but this is 0.9 millimeter uh, pencil lead that I had ordered uh, for this and possibly some other future projects but I ordered some materials here from a supplier I will put the link to the supplier down in the description I don't have any affiliation with these guys. I'm just showing where you can get stuff if you want to get into this too. This eraser, unfortunately, is a little bit small, so we're going to have to put something around it. I will uh, get the old eraser out first, and uh, when we put the new eraser in, we'll just simply wrap it in a little bit of a strip of tape, uh, which will broaden it out a little bit so it'll stick in here. But first, we got to pry this old one out of here, and not all that difficult really just uh, stick a small screwdriver in and just sort of pry it from side to side so yeah easy enough there's the old one out you can see the bit of the mechanics there uh, which do work the mechanics on this pencil work perfectly so it has a small bit of lead in there I found out that this 0.9 millimeter was too small for this pencil it just kind of fell right through the mechanism so I think what I need is a point to, uh, yeah, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not, but the, the, the lead is just kind of falling right through the mechanism. It's not really being fed by it. It's just too small. So um, I'm going to need, a, I think, probably a 1.18 millimeter. We will check that in a bit. We'll actually use the calipers and check exactly what I need. I can't can't remember for sure what it is but for now we're just gonna put this little piece of lead back in there that was already in there it does right with it here we're using the calipers to measure the inner dimension of the eraser portion and also I'm gonna measure what kind of lead that it needs here that's set to inches unfortunately I should have measured it in millimeters it would have been easier 0.046 inches translates to roughly 1.17 millimeters. So I think 1.18 millimeter lead will work in this. Okay, so clearly the, the dimensions of this eraser are smaller than the receptacle for the eraser. So I'm going to get some uh, blue painter's tape and just cut a sliver of it and wrap that sliver around the eraser so that it uh, fits snugly in the, in the hole. doesn't appear that it's going to be going anywhere so that's good so like I said this pencil actually holds a secret and uh, this top portion that I'm unscrewing this section may give you a clue as to what that secret is looking at the bottom of it there It's actually also a lighter. So some wacky guy named uh, Arthur G. Stevenson <laughs> invented a mechanical pencil slash lighter in 1929. This is the Havilite version of this uh, pencil lighter, which I don't think they started making until the 1940s, but this could be a uh, from the 1940s or 50s, perhaps the late 30s, I'm not really sure. But I will put some articles with references down in the description uh, if you want to read more on these 
really unusual objects. According to one article I read, uh, these came in a variety of different uh, forms and also they even had one that was 24 karat gold plated. So very cool, very interesting old lighter slash mechanical pencils. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this change of pace video. And for now, we will see y'all later.